It's time for Toys with Kevin. Kevin. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Toys with Kevin. This is Kevin and he's going to be reviewing some more toys from Daiso. So I have the toys here. We've got a little frog that's attached to a rope. A little orange bear. Funny color choice, but I guess the orange does tend to stimulate the little, little boy. And we have a panda bear on a white and blue rope. As you can see, similar to the old toys, these have all come from Daiso. There's the tag, and it says Daiso, and it says rope toy. So these are great because they do sell these kind of rope toys in pet stores, but you get them from Daiso and they only cost $2 each. They attach to this little stuff thing, and you press it, it does squeak. You can see how his little face lights up. He comes and goes squeaking on his own. <laughs> so all of them do that as well. So Kevin's going to be having lots of fun with these little toys. I am a bit worried because the hips feel like they do have some stuffing inside. So you do need to keep an eye on this during the week and I will definitely be doing that with Kevin. And otherwise he's probably just going to have a lot of time, a lot of uh, fun with this little rope bit. He can chew on it. And we're going to be tossing this up, these up and down the house for him to play with. So we'll check back with you in a week to see how he's done with these toys and how they've survived the one week of being chewed on by a little bear. That's all for today and we'll catch up with you in one week. Bye everyone! Bye bye! Hello everyone, welcome back to the second installment of Kevin's video review on Daiso toys. We have here these rope toys that Kevin has been playing with and he has destroyed most of them. So as you can see, he's chewed a little hole in the, the, the stuffed toy portion of the rope toy and he's managed to pull this stuffing out and he's done that for the little frog as well. As you can see there, he's chewed a little hole up in its ear and there he's trying to chew again and get more stuffing. He seems to think that he doesn't get enough fiber in his little diet. I'm going to put these away and I'm going to leave this here for him. And you can see for a little panda, the first thing he did was to chew off all the little felt ears but he hasn't managed to get into the felt yet even though there's a small hole over there. Yes, he's very proud of himself. But I guess on the plus side, once this does get destroyed, this little portion up here, you can actually just trim around it. If you look closely, you can see some stitches going around the rope area attaching the rope to the stuffed toy. You just trim that off and you have a rope toy. You can toss that up and down the house for baby bear to play with. The good thing is that the squeaking mechanism inside is pretty durable. At the end of a week of Kevin chewing on it and playing a bit and fighting a bit, it still squeaks and he still very much enjoys that. On it. So this is the rope portion of that toy there. The head has been removed. There's a big stitch there which we'll get out in a little bit. Just wanted to show this to you because... Oh, and this is the squeaking mechanism that has just fallen out. And put that aside if you want to train your dog to come when you squeak. Anyway, so this is the rope portion of it. You can see there's a nice knot here. But I found that this is just scotch tape all around the end. And if you take the scotch tape away, you've essentially just got all these fibers here. It look, does look a bit too big to tie a knot in. So, you know, I think you may have to just throw the entire toy away once they tear the, the fluffing thing aside. Although, I guess if you think you could bind this together, you're welcome to try. On an unrelated note, I thought I would bring back this little friend that Kevin had. This is that little bobble hamster looking thing, the pink color one. A hamster or a bunny. And uh, what he did was he actually tore a hole in it. He, 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 he tore a hole and chewed through that area there. And then he tore his brains out, so there's a little cavity there and all the stuffing was just falling all over the place. It was a big mess. He is very proud of himself, but you should be careful if you're getting the bobble head toys because once they tell, there is a lot of stuffing and this guy would just happily pull and pull and pull. And he may have eaten some of it, we're not too sure. But you might want to keep an eye on, the, on this toy, take it away from your little furry friend. Uh, soon after, they, can, they form a hole before they start yanking all the, the stuffing out very happily. So that's all we have for this week of Toys with Kevin. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed this review. Kevin enjoyed ma making the video. I enjoyed making the video. And we'll see you next time. Ow, he bit me. Bye everyone. Bye bye.